like, damn, like, I'm messing up. Like, you know, now I'm worried. <laughs> So you guys, I am in here. I got two IV needles and then one in my other hand and then I got stuck in my belly and then I got pricked in the finger. Um, my anesthesiologist just came in. Um, they just went over everything and told me what's gonna happen. Um, it's 10.20 a.m. right now. Um, my surgery is at 11.30, so I got a little, you know, a little more than an hour. Honestly, I'm freaking out, I can't even lie. So, babe, how'd the surgery go? once it goes off, so don't fight it right now. Just keep sipping and stuff. You can't start walking till you wake up. <clears throat> I mean, I'm on. I just, I don't know. Your mom and your daddy said uh, they're gonna leave. Well, your mom's on the way. Your dad said uh, if you can come by later. So I'm gonna tell them visitation hours over at six. Okay. I'm really focused on your face right now, so hopefully this shot is good so I don't get like all the extra stuff down here but yeah surgery went uh that might be a side effect i don't know if you do feel it though i can get you a uh a thing because the trash can is right there <clears throat> probably gonna hate this shot but I'm just trying not to get everything else but good got some little toe out let me let me fix that and yeah this is pretty much it glad the surgery went fine I think you're about to be in recovery mode for a while but you got plenty of stuff to do and watch so Sitting up too much, or you want me to lean you back? Uh, 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 well, we're in the room. She got a nice big behind TV. She can watch tonight. Laptop's probably gonna be right here. Uh, she's gonna be posting a video today at five, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, we'll tune back in later when she's a little more up. And everything all right bye so guys it is 10 41 p.m yes i look a mess i'm sorry but i just had surgery well not just had surgery i had surgery earlier today um i've been pretty much sleeping majority of the time um i've been trying to get up and walk i walked a couple times um uh, i walked a couple times and then i went to sleep and i was out for a long time a long time and i literally just woke up maybe an hour ago and i went to the bathroom and I finally pooped, TMI, but I finally got to poop. And I was burping a lot. Uh, and I walked and I got up and after I finished using the bathroom and stuff, I got up and I did like five laps around the area that I'm in. <coughs> and then I sat over in the recliner over there for a little bit to kind of sit up. And now I'm laying back in the bed. I'm waiting for them to come put all my stuff back on. Honestly, they ain't been in here in a minute, so I don't know about that, but um, 
yeah I'm I'm in a little bit of pain still it's not as bad as it was earlier because like I said I finally got the poop and I've been burping I haven't really eaten anything like I should be I don't I have no appetite and I know that's bad like I gotta eat so I don't know hopefully it'll be better in the morning but I just kind of wanted to update you guys I'm here by myself of course um yeah I'm gonna try to go back to sleep hopefully I can I don't feel like I'm as sleepy as I was earlier so hopefully they can give me something but I'll update you guys in the morning And that's what was causing my acid reflux really bad. Oh, for real? Yeah, so when he did the sleeve yesterday, he did the sleeve and then he repaired the hole in my esophagus. So my acid reflux shouldn't be as bad. I don't know if it's like gonna go away 100%, but. I if I got one of them. You might, you might need to get an endoscopy, daddy. I would have never knew if I didn't, if I didn't do this. Mama had a, um, <clears throat> I don't want to get it wrong. You didn't share that. Neither. Yes, I did. You didn't tell me you had a Yes, I phone. did, Daddy. And Mama said it yesterday on the phone, too. She said, because when we were talking about how long it was going to be, the three hours, she was like, oh, yeah, I knew you. Um, I know they had to add the hole to fix the hole in your chest, but I didn't think your surgery was going to be three hours. I didn't hear that part. All I oh, okay. heard is add on 30 minutes. Are you getting oh, it? yeah, no. I well, yeah, I had a hole in my esophagus, you guys. That's what caused my acid reflux really bad. And um, before I could even get the sleeve, we had to see how bad it was because if it was extremely bad, then I couldn't do the sleeve. I would have to do the bypass. But it wasn't too bad to where I couldn't do the sleeve. So I did the sleeve and they repaired the hole in my esophagus. So that's kind of, it's not, like I said, as far as like a pain, I'm not in like any pain or anything. That pain was pretty much last night whenever they was pumping like all the air into my ch uh, air back into my body. <clears throat> so that's where the gas pain and stuff was coming from. But like I said, I've been walking and I've been trying to trying to use the bathroom and stuff. So it, I'm not. I was trying to use the bathroom and stuff. I didn't say I was pooping or nothing. So, but yeah, that's basically what was going on. So. Yeah, you guys, I'm about to go home. It feels good to go home. The hospital was cool. The people were so nice. They took so, like, great care of me. It was on it, around the clock. Oh my God, my face. But yeah, they took really good care of me. I was walking, like I said, walking around a lot, y'all. Like, oh my God. 
they was like, you just up and at it. Like, you won't even stay down. But yeah, I didn't want to be in no pain. I don't like pain. That's not grace. Yeah. Yeah, like they was like, when I, whenever, like, like I said, at 10, before 10, it was a little shaky. Like, I still wasn't like, I was up, but I wasn't like fully, fully up. So when I got up and walked the first time when mama was back there, <clears throat> I was in a lot of pain. Like um, getting up, I was in pain and like walking, I was in pain. I felt real nauseous. So I couldn't do as much. So I had to like, when we walked around the thing, I had, sat on the, um, had to sit on the thing and I was about to throw up. And then I came back and I was about to throw up. So it wasn't really good. And then like once 10 o'clock came and I went to the bathroom and started walking, it was good. And then I, you just couldn't get me to stop. And it was like, nobody has ever done that. Like I was completely dressed by seven o'clock, walking the whole entire morning. So they was like, wow, like you're doing so good. Like we're not worried about you at all. So there was once a, po a point where they just left me alone and just let me do whatever I wanted and just came in when it was time to like take my meds or check my vitals or anything like that so yeah anything to say to my camera then no, I'm just um oh yeah I'm extremely proud of you thank you Daddy. I watched your vlog this morning mm -hmm. you let me say vlog yeah I don't know nothing about that but yeah you're doing I watched good. Your, I've watched your vlog this morning and I'm, I'm just very proud of you thanks daddy you, you very I'm very proud of you I'm very, very proud of you. Kind of good though, y'all. Oh, no. You got some single ladies on your arm. What? Oh, my gosh. You guys, please no, ignore no, my daddy. daddy a bachelor. Oh, my God. Anyways, so it's so crazy that, like, I literally be on the Facebook group, the bariatric Facebook group. Ooh, hold on, my sister. I be on the bariatric group, and, like, people be talking about how they're, like, they feel like crap like you know they're they're good but you know they're not like a hundred percent like they just want to lay down and stuff like that and it's crazy like i don't feel like that at all like i feel like my regular self just with a little bit of pressure like on my stomach but everybody deal with things differently yeah you know? and the most important thing is your mindset mm -hmm. your prayer life mm -hmm. and the people who support oh, yeah. you and pray for you as well period yeah i ain't gonna cap the whole time in the in the um before i had my surgery like i just kept praying like i was so nervous why i don't know i just felt like i was gonna feel everything that they were doing why i don't know because i knew i was gonna be on medicine and anesthesia and stuff like that but i was so scared you guys like if honestly if i did not talk to randy and cheryl like right before i went back there like my mind would have been racing so they took my mind off the surgery a lot when i spoke to them like 10 minutes before the doctor came in so thank you to you guys but yeah <clears throat> so I feel pretty great I, like I said it's a little bit of pain on my stomach but it's not like unbearable to where I'm like crying or anything like I feel good I felt like my normal self honestly when I got out of surgery I felt like my normal self but just you know whatever but yeah I'll be doing more videos of course you guys gotta see my journey and stuff so they gotta come back and see me Okay, sure, sure. Do you guys think we look alike? Do you guys think we look alike? Of course. Yeah. I just got more gray. Oh my goodness. And I don't have no um. What do you call them? Hair? Yeah, long hair. <laughs> <laughs> this man is so sick, man. You guys. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys. So it is some hours later since you know my dad took me home it's about let's see what time it is it's 7 48 i was sleeping for about two and a half hours really that nap felt really good i really wanted to go back to sleep no cap um but i am up eating some chicken broth um i've been doing really like i've been doing better with drinking my water and i'm, I'm gonna try to finish this whole bowl i can't make any promises um, but I don't know, me and Trent were just in here watching YouTube, just chilling. I, I still feel really good. You know, I'm not in like any pain. Um, I'll have like, like when I'm drinking, if I'm taking too big of gulps, I'll have a little bit of pain going down. Um, but that's just, um, the way of saying, Hey, slow down your drinking. Um, but yeah, this is. 
this is all that I've been doing pretty much. <laughs> That's why I haven't really been like vlogging or anything because I've been taking a nap and just watching like shows and Netflix and um, YouTube and stuff. Hey guys, so it is the next morning, Friday. Um, it's about 10 o'clock and we are outside walking Kojo so I can get my steps in. Um, probably walk around the dog park and around the neighborhood a couple times. Um, you know, just to get me going. I just took all my meds. It was disgusting. You want and to too? What? Yeah, I don't care. Way. And I got some water. Hopefully I can it. drink it. But yeah, we're just walking. Getting my steps in. I gotta get 2,000 every day. So, here we go. <laughs> days post-op got my water and we are out again walking we walk around my entire neighborhood that's more than it's it's a mile so for me that's a little over 2,000 steps and 2,000 steps is what I have to do every day so we're just gonna keep walking this every day with Kojo and yeah got my water um, right now I Babe, can you hold this real quick? Thank you. Right now, like walking, I feel a little nauseous. Um, I think because I took a shower this morning and like getting dressed and going back and forth from the bathroom to my room, I think I was doing a little too much too fast. So I'm a little nauseous, but I still feel really good. Like I still feel really good I'm not in a lot of pain I just feel a little pressure on my stomach a little bit right now but I'm doing pretty good very happy with how everything is going so far what about you Trent what do you think very happy with how everything is going so far mm -hmm. it's nice to wake up and take a nice little walk and get ready for the day yeah so we're here with Kojo Kojo say hey so you guys it is two o'clock we went walking around 10 um i've already taken like all of my meds that i had to take um and i'm trying i'm trying so hard to drink this whole thing i i think i've been drinking a lot more than what i've what i have been trent doesn't think so but i think so um also i'm here editing editing and then we're watching handmaid's tale um i just want to start this because i know it has a bunch of seasons and i want to you know watch something consistently while i'm down and then i also was fixing my website for um you know my nails for people to start booking because i'm going to release that tomorrow um i think i'm going to go back to work next thursday or friday i'm still debating um, and the reason why, cause like I said, I feel, I feel pretty normal. Like, like I said, I have very like minimum pain. I have pain a little bit when I'm like drinking a lot, but it's, I don't think it's like unbearable to the point where I can't work. So, um, when I do go back to work, I'm only going to do like maybe like two or three people just to kind of ease my way back in and then go back like my next doctor's appointment is march 8th so that's when i'll probably start working full time again so yeah but i just kind of wanted to update you guys on what i'm doing sitting on the couch nothing doing nothing other than editing and fixing my website and watching Henry's tale. I should get up and film some kind of video, but Randy is coming over here today, so maybe me and her can do something. 
Stop. with Trent and Justin or just me and her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here's post op day three. Babe. Oh, you guys, I can have anything that goes through a wire mesh strainer. And so this is a soup from Panera Bread. What is it? Uh, cream of chicken and wild rice. Cream of chicken and wild rice. So all of this I can have. Thank you. I, I did not want to keep eating broth. I literally had my second bowl of broth today since I've, you know, started this. And I just, I, I'm not a broth person. Damn, I wish you could taste this. I wish I could too. This should not taste so good. I, I don't rub it in. <laughs> And then Trent, he also got me the cheddar and broccoli. So I'll try to eat this tomorrow after I strain it. But Trent's food looks so good, y'all. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to eat. But I can have this. And this is really good. Like this, yeah, I taste enough. it. Yeah, this should be, I probably won't even be able to finish it. So this is really good. But I'm so excited about this, you guys. I really am. I don't know why, but I am. Good morning, everybody. So today is Wednesday, March 3rd, and I am officially, officially a week post-op. Yay. I'm officially a week post-op. Um, today is my one week, um, and tomorrow I'm going back to work i'm only doing two clients though so i'm kind of like easing my way back in but i want to let you guys know so i told you guys you know like oh i've been feeling great you know i've been walking um the only hard thing that i've been trying to do was get all my protein in well two days ago so today's wednesday so monday um, so Monday was not really a great day. I want to say like Sunday night is when I started to feel really bad. I, I felt really like sick and like nauseous and like, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling too, too good. Yeah. So sorry, it's cold in my house. So yeah, I was feeling like extremely nauseous and I felt really sick and, um, I just felt like, ugh, like I needed to lay down. And so I went to lay down and then the next morning, which is Monday, um, I woke up and me and Trent tried to go downstairs and do like our daily walk. And once I got downstairs, um, I just started to feel like dizzy and like more nauseous and, um, like I just, I had to sit down. So we walked over to like the little um, electricity box or whatever that's in our um, in our apartment complex. And I had to sit there for a second because I, like I said, I felt like really dizzy. Um, and, you know, I Trent made the decision for me to not walk because, you know, uh, I told you guys like the walk was like a mile and a half or something like that. And he didn't want me to do he didn't want me to start the walk and then like, you know, something happened or whatever. So, um, that whole day, Monday, I literally sat in my room on my bed and like, just, you know, stayed in bed pretty much the whole day. Um, I called, uh, my nurse or whatever. And she told me it's probably because I'm not getting enough protein and, I haven't, like, before I wasn't taking, like, naps and stuff, and I'm supposed to be taking naps. Um, and, like I said, the protein intake and drinking, I probably wasn't drinking enough. So, um, that Monday I stayed in the bed completely. Um, I only got up if I needed to use the bathroom or if I had to get something out of my refrigerator. Um, and that's pretty much it. And also, yesterday... Um, I was gonna get up and go to my nail suite and like clean up um, and like you know because I need to do a deep clean in there so I was gonna go do that yesterday but my mom was like no like you need to stay at least one more day in the bed like try to nap you know you gotta you gotta nap you gotta try to get your protein in and um, you know just try 
to feel better. Like you're doing too much too fast and that's probably why your body feels this way. So um, that's what I did yesterday. I stayed like Monday. I literally slept pretty much the whole day, which was amazing. First of all, it was amazing. Like I didn't have to worry about anything. I didn't have people come knocking on my door in and out, stuff like that. Um, and yesterday was pretty much the same. I pretty much slept majority of the day. Like I only um, got up to get Gatorade and like a protein shake and to take my medicine and go to the bathroom and shower. That was literally the only time that I, I got up. Um, and I don't know, like when I get up, when I like get up out of the bed really fast, I have to like close my eyes and like wait because I become really dizzy and lightheaded. Um, I still don't know if that's because I'm not eating enough protein or if it's just I'm moving too fast. Um, but I have to like really, really watch that. I'm trying, like y'all, I don't think you guys understand. I'm trying to get as much protein in as I can because I don't want to have to go back to the hospital or, you know, I don't want to have anything happen or whatever. Um, but it is really hard. Like if you overeat, um, if you overeat, you can hurt your stomach and you will feel sick and nauseous. And then if you undereat you'll get malnourished and your hair will fall out and stuff like that. So it's really hard. Like, I don't really know. I don't understand how they want us to get 60 grams of protein in a day when our stomachs can't handle that. Like, that is just ridiculous. And it's a lot of pressure because when you don't get 60 grams of protein, it's like, damn, like, I'm messing up. Like, now, now I'm worried type stuff. So... I'm trying, like I really am trying to get it in, but I literally, I physically just cannot eat that much. So, anyways, um, today is Wednesday. I'm a week post op, and I haven't started feeling bad until, like I said, Monday. So it is weird, like that. I went pretty much a whole five, six days without feeling, you know, feeling great, and then the last like two before I hit my week post op. I start feeling really bad. Um, but today, I don't know, I feel okay today. Um, when I got up this this morning to go use the bathroom, I was really dizzy. Um, and I think I was moving a little too fast, so I had to like stop and wait till my body catches up, I guess. Um, but like I said, I'm supposed to go to work tomorrow, so I am going to go clean my nail room. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. I'm very um, optimistic about it. I feel like I'll be okay. I'm just going to make sure I take a lot of protein drinks and Gatorade and um, take my medicine. I've been, oh, one night I, I didn't take my medicine. And I feel like that's where it all started. But anyways, um, so... I don't know. I feel like if it's too much, then I'll go home. Um, but yeah, today I'm one week post-op. I literally just weighed myself this morning and I'm 245.2, which is amazing, you guys. I was 261 pounds the day of my surgery. Literally a week ago, I was 261 pounds and now I am 245. 245.2. That is amazing. I mean, like I said, I don't really see it, but the scale is telling me, and y'all, I know I shouldn't be weighing myself like this, but I just, I have to, like I have, I got to see, you know? So yes, I am one week post-op. I'm super excited. I have one more week with just liquids. Oh, I, oh my God, like I've been watching so many vlogs and like people's videos and everybody wants to put food in it like i watched ddg and neek's video yesterday and they did a mukbang and they had mexican food and if you know me i love mexican and they had nachos oh my gosh i was so sad i really just want some real food so 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 bad but um soon soon to come so like I said, I am one week post-op. I'm doing pretty okay, you know. I had a little bump in the road, but we are not going to let that bump in the road 
defined my journey. I just went to um, go ahead and take my meds, drink a protein shake, and get in the shower and get dressed so I can just go ahead and go over to my suite, get that out the way so I can come back and get in the bed and chill out for the rest of the day before I have to wake up and go to work tomorrow. So, see you guys later.